Time now for the news from the left. It's so fun to watch them eat each other, isn't it? Today, Bill de Blasio, New York's liberal mayor, ripped apart Andrew Cuomo, New York's liberal governor. Take a listen. That's classic Andrew Cuomo. Um, a lot of people in New York State have received those phone calls. Uh, you know, the bullying is nothing new. Um, I believe Ron Kim, and it's very, very sad. No public servant, no person who's uh, telling the truth should be treated that way. So this all started with Ron Kim, a New York State Assemblyman from Queens, who said that Cuomo called him a while back and warned him to watch his mouth regarding the nursing home scandal. There it was. Kim says that Cuomo said he'd destroy him. Bill de Blasio and Andrew Cuomo have had a strange seven-year relationship. It hasn't been too good. De Blasio was far too left for Cuomo at times. For all of Cuomo's faults, he's pretty sharp. He knew de Blasio was a fool. And then Cuomo started moving left to join the anti-Trump crowd, and they started getting along a little better. But now de Blasio ready to bury Cuomo's career as his own term is up this year. They're both up in the next couple of years. Perhaps he wants Cuomo's job. We don't know. Now, de Blasio doesn't have a prayer at getting it, but we can all dream, right? Sticking with Cuomo for a quick second, CNN just made the most convenient decision ever for Governor Cuomo's brother, Chris Cuomo. Now that Andrew Cuomo's political career is in a tailspin, CNN says Chris Cuomo can no longer cover his brother. That ban was lifted all last year as the media and his brother just loved Andrew Cuomo. CNN used to have a ban on covering family members. They lifted it so that Andrew Cuomo could have moments like this with the Q-tip. But now that uh, the story is no longer positive, the ban is back in place. Good old CNN. You got to love it. Next up, the city of Baltimore has a huge crime problem. Gun violence, homicides, you name it, they got it. And now a convicted murderer turned community activist thinks he has the answer. I think you know where this is going. Pay criminals not to kill people. <laughs> what a headline it is, right? There it is. What a crazy idea, right? Uh, what's crazy is, is that the idea actually appears to work, at least in the short term. NPR reporting that a similar idea was used in Richmond, California, right outside Oakland, and the murder rate was cut in half. Sounds great, right? Easy fix? Think of it another way. Imagine your kid is throwing a temper tantrum. You give them the toy they want just so they'll shut up. It worked. But is that a good precedent to set? America, the country that pays people to not commit crime, to not kill each other? What an idea. In California, a couple genius uh, members of a local school board in Oakley left their Zoom call open to the public as they bashed parents who were fed up with their kids not being back in school. Check it out. Are we alone? Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to call me out, I'm going to you up. <laughs> Sorry, that's just me. It's really unfortunate. Exactly. That they want to pick on us because right. they want their babysitters back. They want their babysitters back. Uh, do you mean the babysitters that their tax money pays for? Then yes, you clown. Parents want teachers back in the classroom and they have every right to demand it. This debate is about to turn into a war. It's heating up. This is a total loser for the left. Every single day, hardworking Americans of all political stripes are getting angrier and angrier with school board members, government officials, and teachers union unions, and all of them are Democrats. The longer the lockdowns and the school closures go on, the better Florida looks to everyone, the better Republicans look to everyone. So yes, parents don't like paying taxes for a half-assed Zoom education that doesn't let them go back to work and leaves their kids far behind. Is anybody surprised by that? Ridiculous. Finally, we've all seen what can happen when you doubt the safety of COVID vaccines or maybe question the science. The left will cancel you out of existence and you'll have to live the rest of your life in the woods feeding on berries and small animals. It's happening right now to a waitress in Brooklyn. Listen to this. 34-year-old Bonnie Jacobson told the New York Post she was fired from her restaurant for choosing not to get the COVID-19 vaccine because she was afraid it might hurt her chances of having a kid someday. Our left-wing pope isn't messing around either. Apparently, Vatican employees may lose their job if they refuse to get vaccinated. What's crazy, and what a crazy time it is, that you have to let the government inject you with a shot or else. Think about that. Let me put this needle in your arm or you're in big trouble. That's wild.
I suspect that Brooklyn restaurant may have a heck of a lawsuit on its hands in the coming days. We shall see. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.